starting the day off well with a bacon, cheese and tomato sandwich, which may look like a lot, um, and it is quite a big doorstep of a sandwich, uh, but I didn't eat at all yesterday, so I'm making up for it. <laughs> and a gingerbread latte. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm watching um, YouTube. Uh, I think that's AK Caribou. I don't know. I've just put all the ones that I haven't seen into a playlist. So I can have a nice, quiet Monday morning watching YouTube, eating my breakfast and having a, having a planner session. When I said I was crocheting over the weekend, quite a few of you wanted to know what I was making. So here it is. Not finished, obviously. This is going to be a very big blanket. And I'm using um, an eight petal uh, African violet stitch or pattern, granny squares. Uh, they are actually squares. If you look there, you can see where I've joined them there. Uh using three colours. This white, I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but it's twinkly. It's got sparkly lurex in it. Can you see that? Oh, there you go. Look, isn't that pretty? It's all sparkly, look. So it's got like sparkly snowflakes in it and flowers and things. So I rather like that. I haven't decided if I'm going to use more colours or if I'm going to keep to these colours. I think I might keep to these colours and then make another one in a different colourway. Um, it's a very, very easy pattern. Actually quite a good beginner's pattern. If you, once you know the stitches, it's quite easy to learn. And you can do one row at a time and the whole row is all the same. So that's pretty good. As you can see, I make it up as I go and I also crochet in my ends. I don't use knots or anything when I crochet. I'm very good. I make it as I go because otherwise if I've made projects before where I've made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of granny squares and I've ended up donating them to charity in a bag because I just couldn't be bothered to sit there and put them all together. So now I crochet them as I go and I, I crochet them. I don't sew them because I hate sewing. So I crochet it as I go. Now that does mean I don't block it, but what I do is I wash it when I'm done and then I stretch it out to dry. I find that easier than blocking. I don't like blocking things. It's, I haven't got patience for that. <laughs> it's much easier to just um, wash it when it's finished and, and deal with it that way. So yeah, that's what I've been making. It's going to be um, at least twice as wide as this and probably eight times as long. I don't know. I'm, I'm planning to make it at least big enough to fit a single the the size of a single bed uh, I might even make it a bit bigger than that but it needs to be big and warm and snuggly for snuggling on the sofa um, I will actually the the pattern I'm using is free on Ravelry so I'll I'll put a link to it down below so you can if you're interested in going and having a go at it yourself you can <laughs> 